Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome to what I think is the most exciting Town of 12 Let's Play episode in the entire series. Today is a huge day and you can see I'm well prepared. I got loads, I got nuts, crazy amounts of loot. So welcome to the Town of 12 Let's Play guys. The queen has woken up. She's been upgraded as quickly as possible to this point where the next level, level 65, is max level and this is a big day this is a big deal because i have the loot to do it and we're gonna do it immediately this is a big day guys i'm super stoked um the other side of things we have the grand warden which can also go to level 40 his max level at tunnel 12 12 million lakes so we got loads of we got enough loot to do both of these things i mean come on isn't that exciting um and and, and then of course my plan my plan is to use books on both. Yes. So, uh, without any more delay, guys, we're going to max this queen and this warden today. And it's my least favorite grind, the elixir grind. So, the fact that the grand warden will be done will be a glorious day for sure. Now, I do have Barch in my army composition. Um, and the reason why is because I wanted to get more elixir because that'll be my focus for this laboratory coming up. But we've got nine days. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I wanted to mostly showcase my heroes. So let's go into the progress base and let's get it going. First things first, let's do the warden. All right. And normally I do this stuff at the end of the videos, right? But I wanted to showcase these two in today's video. And I haven't used heroes really at all since I started this series. Like for real, like I've been very, very good at keeping them upgrading. Uh, and now I finally get to enjoy the fruits of my labor. It is so exciting, guys. So, let's go and upgrade this warden. Level uh, uh, level 40, max level. 12 million elixir, 7 day upgrade, more like 7 seconds. In 3, 2, 1, bam. And once again, Book of Heroes, it's going to get it done immediately. 3, 2, 1, bam. And somebody in the comment section said, Class, that wasn't 7 seconds, that was 6.3. It was pretty dang close to seven, you have to be honest. Anyway, so there you go, guys. The Warden has now been upgraded, and to upgrade him again, I would have to go to Town Hall 13. I don't want to do that. So there you go. The Warden is done. He is maxed, and I'm going to put him right there on the corner. That is just epic. Now, let me grab my... Ooh, actually, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've got to do... <laughs> oh, man. I have to do another raid? Oh, you know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to do a builder base attack real quick to get the last points I need for that last Book of Heroes, okay? that's This is all I need to do. All I need to do is, is take out this town hall, and I'm donezo. All right, so let's get those in there. Get those in there, and I probably will three-star this little base. Again, I don't play builder base, so... Yeah. Ooh! Actually, oh no! Bro! I hope that they're outside of the range. I think they are. Okay. I can't believe this double cannon didn't go down. Again, I don't play Builder Base on any of my accounts except my main account, which is a town of 13. Um, and, and that's just because I don't have the time to play main village on all of them and uh, Builder Base on all of them. So I've, I've had a lot of people request Builder Base on different accounts and stuff. I literally don't do Builder Base ever. So that's just a thing, right? Um, it looks like, ooh, looks like this Barbarian's going to do... Do the job, man. He's not going to three-star, but he's going to get me a lot of percentage points. And he's pretty fast. Look at that. Look how fast he swings. This is pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah. Once again, I'm not going to be doing no builder base on this account. I'm not going to do the builder base on any account. Because uh, I just don't, I genuinely don't enjoy it all that much. I mean, you guys can probably agree with me on that, right? You appreciate it. Uh, the fact that it's just not my cup of tea. You know, I'm more of a coffee guy anyway. I got my coffee mug right here. Yeah. Nice and pretty cup too, nice and shiny. So, uh, so yeah. All right, so that gold storage will go down, and then he's gonna get shot as he charges toward this double cannon. Let's just take a moment and appreciate his bravery as he runs toward certain death, or maybe it's stupidity. I'm not sure. There you go. It's gone. Good try, buddy. Good try. So 92% two star. Let's see if I won. I did. Oh my gosh. How did how did that happen? <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, so now I have a free book of. Heroes, let's go. Let's max this queen. 240,000 dark elixir, seven days, seven second upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And the book of heroes getting it done. Guys, we're maxing the queen and the warden in one episode. Let's go. 
Oh, life is good, y'all. Life is good. All right, so Queen, congratulations. You get to go hang out with your maxed out friend. Except for this expo is kind of in the way. Um, can I maybe... Yeah, I'll do that like that. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we got a Max Warden and a Max Queen. I've got Max Gold as well. So let's go ahead and upgrade a Tesla just to burn some gold. Three, two, one. Bam. All right, so uh, after a very, very active intro to a video, right? Uh, let, me, let me just look at one thing. I'm going to collect everything yeah nope no boost no boost collect go to my treasury treasury's got lots of dark elixir in it that's awesome uh but you know what let's just go in and, and start doing some raids now again this is mostly about showcasing max queen and max warden oh let me show you that it's max let me prove it to you i, I proved that the warden was max i didn't quite prove that the queen is max so if i try to upgrade it giant red bar can't do it the queen is maxed guys oh this is so good i've been looking forward to this episode for Quite some time, I have to be honest. Quite some time indeed. And I just remember I just realized what we could do. Let me let me show you guys something amazing about having a max warden. Okay. Even with Barch, even with Barch, if you have a good, strong wall wrecker, and I do have a max wall wrecker, uh, you can do some pretty major damage to a base. So let me try to find a base with a decent amount of elixir. That's kind of what I'm gonna prioritize. Actually, you know what? Dark elixir. Obviously, I still need to max the king. Uh, let me try to find a base with a decent amount of Dark Elixir. Okay, here, here's one. I just want to showcase to you guys the power of the Grand Warden, okay? And this is a pretty decent base, and we may not actually get to the storage, but I just want to show you guys how awesome it is. So, Barbarians down first. We're just going to deploy them all quickly. There are the Barbarians. There are the Archers. Now they're going to back up the the uh, front line there. Let's go in with the Wall Wrecker. Let's go in with the Warden. And as soon as the... Wall Wrecker breaks through, we'll send the Queen in through too. There it is. All right, so here we go. We're gonna drop a rage spell or um, a poison spell and the Warden's ability, just as those stupid little Eagle artillery shots start coming down. So there you go. So the wall, dang that Warden, felt like it lasts forever. That was amazing. We went all the way through that Dark Elixir storage, and um, the troops are now. I'm going to steal. I don't have another rage spell. Should have probably held that rage. But uh, yeah, the troops have made it through all the way into the core. This is turned. It, okay, so if you have a max warden, it turns an attack that seems so flaccid, right? It seems so flimsy into a, a strategy that can dive. Look at this. Diving straight through the base. It's crazy. It's crazy. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, uh, I guess the last I think ideally would be to get in there and get that Dark Elixir out of that storage. I'm going to drop a heal spell. I'm going to pop the Queen's ability. And hopefully this Queen can heal up a little bit before she breaks through this uh, compartment. No, Queen! Wrong compartment! No! 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 Ah, Queen, you rebellious woman. Ugh. All right. Well, it, it's going to be all right. There's a ring of distraction, but hopefully she turns back around. I just want her to get this Dark Elixir out of this drill. That's really the, the whole point, right? But that, that Queen's ability lasted for... Uh, I mean, uh, forever, and uh, the Wardens as well, man. I mean, that was like the real deal. That was amazing. So, Queen, I need you to survive this cannon. Survive the cannon. Survive. Yes. Yes. All right. Let me heal her up. There you go. She got that Dark Elixir, and she's recovering. She's recovering her health very nicely, and so is that Warden. That's what's up. We got one more raid, or, so I, I kind of want to try to have them both. We, we may not, though. That's all right. Um, all right. So, let me go ahead and close out. There's really no more loot that matters, right? Um, we got it done. So that was Barch. Barch with a, a wall wrecker heroes. That is the power of those max heroes. I love it. So this time I've got no CC. I could donate CC. I've got my, my, my account open right here. So let me just hop in. Hopefully I'm not logged into this account here. Yep, I am. <laughs> Darn it. Well, I can log out real quick. Hold on. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to donate some CC troops to myself. And you don't, I don't know why, but I knew I was logged into the account that I was filming on, on my phone. So now I've switched accounts and I can reload the village and donate some CC. It's going to be good. Boom. There you go. All right. So I got some CC. Let's get that poison. And now we're good to go. All right. So let's go do that again, except for this time. Uh, unfortunately, we're back to having no heroes, <laughs> which is uh, not ideal, but it is um, part of the game. It's part of reality, right? So, ooh, good amount of Dark Elixir. Um, I can probably get at least one drill and the storage 
with uh, this combination. So let me go ahead and I'm going to deploy real heavy. This is an eight finger deployment of barbarians here. Now let's get the wall wrecker going through. There we go. And then now get the archers to go through as well. There we go. So let's heal. And ideally I would rage, but I want to wait until I can rage up the CC troops. They're significantly more powerful. Drop a good poison. Drop another heal. Come on, CC troops. Come on. Poison's done a good job so far. Again, I really want this wall wrecker. Come on, wall wrecker. Yes, they made it through. Perfect. Drop a rage and drop another heal. Perfect. So now it's working on that Dark Elixir storage as well. Just, just a barge. Uh, uh, this is really no different, though. This is no different than what you guys are used to seeing. My heroes are both dead. Uh, they'll wake up, though. Don't worry. But anyway, guys, this is such a glorious day as my hero grind is nearly done. My hero grind is nearly done. All I need to do is, in the next couple of days, farm up a max Dark Elixir storage one more time. That's all I need to do. And then it's over. The grind is over. So... Ah, uh, and then it, it, and then we focus on other things. Um, and it, it, this is a problem. This is actually a problem. Let me explain. So after getting some loot, here we are. We have the king, which in uh, two days will need a max dark elixir storage. Okay, lots of dark elixirs are going to be required for that. This is not a good thing. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> but I can do it. I can wait. Did I just get an achievement? Ooh, I did achieve a total of two hundred versus battle trophies. Okay, whatever. Ten free gems. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is a problem and here's why because once I get my barbarian king upgraded and maxed Then I'm gonna have Not just two builders dedicated to gold upgrades, but five Let me explain that again. I had two builders working on gold and three working on heroes now I've only got one working on heroes four working on gold and I'm about to have five the gold grind is about to get insane, and I'm never going to get any walls done ever again. It's terrible, but it's worth it, dude. It's worth it. I've, I've pushed really, really hard to be able to max out my heroes. This is such a great day. So uh, I guess the question now is, if I collect like my treasury, and I really don't have a lot of loot in my treasury, gold and elixir-wise, I guess I'm going to have to, because I don't have enough gold to do another defense. I have enough gold to do a wall or two. But I don't have enough loot to do another defense. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to leave us off with a builder available. Uh, because as I as I focus on getting max Dark Elixir one more time to max out the king, I'm going to have loads of extra loot that I'm, prob I'm, I'm probably going to end up maxing out my gold storage well before I max out my Dark Elixir storage. And so I'm going to need to put that extra loot somewhere anyway. So leaving a builder available is probably a wise course of action. I'll be using miners. Uh, they're the... They're my go-to for crazy amounts of Dark Elixir, but here's what the crazy thing. Once next episode is done, what am I going to do? I'm going to definitely switch up the army composition and uh, and try to start working on, on something else. I don't know if I'm going to throw like a queen charge or, or or go to like a Lalunian or or something else. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm stoked about a changeup for sure, though. So, uh, guys, we maxed out our king and our queen. Or no, our, our queen and our warden. This is a big day. Next time, maxing the king and our grind for heroes is finally over. Oh, it feels so good. So, guys, that's it for me, though, for today. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And join the hashtag KlausFamily. Consider uh, uh, ringing the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. And, of course, consider becoming a member so you can get early access to videos ad-free. Uh, don't forget that I live stream every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure and check it out. There's a link for that in the description. And lastly, don't forget to support your favorite content creator using the creator code. If you'd like to support me, and I greatly appreciate it, use code Klaus. It would be a huge blessing to both me and my family. If you would like to support, then be sure and choose the link down below in the description to automatically input the code. But remember that it expires every seven days. So you want to look at your shop and look for the little white C. Mine's gone. Didn't expect that. So what I'll do is I will go in and put it manually, going through the settings, more settings, and enter code under creator boost, or once again, use the link in the description. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you all again next time.